Hi, and welcome to Wageningen University in Research. I'm Julia, and today I'm joined by people from the online master's program of plant breeding. I think it would be nice to start off with a brief introduction. Hi, my name is Anja Kuipers, and I'm program director for the online master in plant breeding. Hi, my name is Janke Schout, and I'm e-learning developer and study advisor of the online master plant breeding. What's the difference between the online master's program and the regular master's program on campus? Well, the main difference is that the online master program is most of the time outside Wageningen. And another important feature of the program is that it's designed for part-time study. So the average study load is 20 hours per week. And so does that mean that a student could have a job as well as study? Yeah, that is possible, but it's not possible to c combine the program with a full-time job. Uh, the 20 hour study load per week is really something that you have to take into account. So it can be combined with a part-time job, but for sure not with a full-time job. Could you briefly explain what this program is about? Well, it's about plant breeding and it basically involves all um, information needed for a person to set up a plant breeding program. And what are some of these courses that are offered? Uh, in the program we have uh, yeah, courses that focus on plant breeding so we have typical courses on, on plant breeding let's say the introductory to uh, specialized uh, plant breeding like breeding for quality of uh, plant produce or uh, breeding for resistance or tolerance uh, other typical courses are about the setup of experiments so uh, advanced statistics and uh, data analysis and we also have some courses uh, that are important tools for the plant breeder, like marker-assisted selection and uh, genomics and bioinformatics. What would the course structure look like for a typical class? Well, uh, courses typically uh, run over four weeks, and within each week, uh, students are uh, yeah, have a, a set of tasks they need to finish. So it can be watching clips or uh, reading articles or book chapters, and also uh, well, uh, handing in an assignment or discussing a question among themselves. So it, uh, well, this is a, an interactive thing. Some things they have to do by themselves and some things they will do together. But they're free to plan that within that week. So then all the assignments aren't due at the end, they're due at the end of each week. Exactly. And then how would the typical program structure look like overall? So, um, uh, yeah, the, so typically um, uh, the program is set up um, at, at some starting with some basic courses like uh, principles of plant breeding and genetics and then they, they work through that um, yeah, into more specialized courses like breeding for quality and breeding for resistance and eventually they end up at a, a, a group work project in which they design a plant breeding uh, program themselves. And then with the courses they also have to take exams and how would those work? Yeah, they are online exams and they are remotely proctored and that means that uh, they are continuously being watched while they are taking the exam uh, through a webcam and also their computer is monitored. And then if a student were to fail an exam or wouldn't be able to take an exam for an extenuating circumstance, what would they do? Well, we have two fixed re-exam periods each year. They are indicated by the orange blocks, and also they can uh, take the course again, the, course, the exam again next year with a new group of students. So altogether, there are three exam opportunities to redo the exam. Fantastic. At the end of each course, you have to take an exam. How does that work? Do students have to come to Wageningen? Well, they need to come to Wageningen uh, one time in the first year and another time in the second year for two weeks each and in the first year they come uh, well somewhere in uh, March you can see this on the blue blocks in the general structure of the program and uh, the program for the Wageningen weeks involves uh, mainly training in lab skills so they have to do some practical experiments and uh, in addition to that it's actually the first time that they meet real life uh, and what we have heard from the students is that they really appreciate that and it helps them to continue in group work after the Wageningen weeks. So you'd say there's a lot of group work in this online program? Yes, there is. Uh, although it's an online master program, the students don't have to do everything on their own. 
they have to cooperate with uh, fellow students uh, on a regular basis. They have to do assignments together, uh, react on each other's contributions. So there's a lot of interactive uh, group work uh, involved in the program. So we've been talking a lot about the program structure when it comes to classes, but how do the third and fourth year work in terms of the thesis and internship? Yeah, like uh, on-campus students, uh, students will go on an internship, and it's outside Wageningen, um, so that's also for the online master. But uh, many students will already be working at the plant breeding company, and they can use their work time, um, a project that they have been uh, running, uh, to serve as the practical time oh, nice. needed. And they need to, uh, to write an internship report about that and, 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 and uh, yeah, look at it from an ac academic point of view. So that is indeed very uh, effective um, yeah, for them, for that group of students. Could so. students also do their master's thesis at the company they work at? Um, in principle that's possible, but it's quite complicated because uh, um, they need to find a university supervisor who is knowledgeable on that subject and that's not always the case and uh, so it's sometimes pretty difficult to find a supervisor who is actually willing to put extra time in there to, to, to get specialized on that subject. So um, that needs to be arranged and also um, uh, companies they want to uh, keep their their knowledge secret so if it, if research is being performed at the company um, yeah they want to have that also as their own uh, knowledge right. and uh, we have the rule that um, a master thesis will end up at the university library so they will get uh, publicly known and there can be a, a one year waiting before they end up at the library, but for companies that's often too short. So that's the second important thing that needs to be arranged, but in principle it's possible and we are willing to look into opportunities for working it out. But most students end up doing their thesis at Wageningen. Yeah, exactly. Or at least partly. And then for students looking to apply to this program, are there any specific admissions requirements? Uh, yes, it is important uh, to have a bachelor degree in a relevant field, which is biology, agronomy, or maybe biotechnology. And then, because of the content of the plant breeding program, it is very important to have a bachelor level background knowledge in genetics, plant physiology, and statistics. And it's also important to refresh this knowledge if needed. Because sometimes uh, people have worked for five years, so their bachelor knowledge may be a bit uh, outdated or partly gone away. So then it's important for the students to refresh their knowledge before they actually start with the courses of the online program. And then I know there's something called staggered admission. Could you please explain what that is? Well, uh, we don't want to end up with groups that are too big with too many students because then we can't uh, pay enough attention to each of the students in the program. So we uh, work with an upper limit of 50 students for this program. Uh, that means that we have to do the selection in two steps. So there will be a first deadline on the 1st of May uh, for students to apply. And if uh, by then we have 50 uh, admitted students, then the admission will stop at that moment. If there are still places available, then the admission uh, stays possible until the 1st of July. And so that's entirely to keep the group small so you can give them yeah. a lot of contact. Yeah. So then the staggered admission allows for students to have a better, closer experience with the teachers. And how would you say that their contact is with the professors? Yeah, the contact between student and professor is quite informal and quite, uh, quite frequent, really. Uh, even though it's at a distance, uh, there's, there's, there's good supervision uh, through the learning uh, environment, uh, through email, and often also through Skype. So I think uh, it's the uh, students are being monitored quite intensively. Also thanks to this uh, this weekly program. And what would you say are some of the main advantages of doing an online master's program? Um, I think first of all it can be combined with a, a part-time job or maybe a family life or a, an important hobby or so which otherwise would not be possible. Maybe. And, uh, and another advantage, 
I think is that um, because it's a fixed schedule, uh, there's not so much overlap between the courses. They are really designed to make one uh, nice program, which we think is optimal to be uh, uh, working as a plant breeder or as a researcher. And then for students, after they make it through the entire program and graduate, how does their job market differ from students graduating from the traditional master's program? Well, uh, as has come across before, most of the students already work in a plant breeding company. So, yeah, most likely they will continue with their job or maybe uh, proceed in their career. Uh, for students who don't already work in a plant breeding job, there are plenty of opportunities in the plant breeding sector. Uh, which is currently still asking for additional staff. So that's a very uh, positive perspective for graduates of this program. Thank you guys for your time today. I hope we provided you with enough interesting information about this exciting online master's program. But if you still have questions, please feel free to email us at students at word.nl or schedule a Skype meeting. And if you have any general questions about admissions or anything at all, please check out the video, The Essentials of Studying Online. Thanks and hope to see you soon.